In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bar chart of means and a line chart of means. Now, for both of these types of graph, your x-axis variable should be categorical, and that means it needs to be defined as either nominal or ordinal in SPSS. Now, typically we choose a bar chart when our categories are not a series over time and not related to each other. So here I just have average coffee sold each day of the week. Whereas for my line chart of means, it is showing a progression over time because it's consecutive weeks. Now my SPSS data file, I've got my day of the week variable and I'm going to use coffee sold. So this is showing me the number of coffee sold on each day of the week and I'm going to use it to compute an average. So if we go to graphs and chart builder and I'm going to choose the first bar chart option. Go ahead and double click or drag it into your gallery. Our categorical variable always goes along the x-axis, so that's my day of the week, and I've defined it here as nominal. On your y-axis, you drag your scale variable for which you want to compute a mean. This will not work if your variable has not been defined as scale. Now, anytime that you compute a bar chart or line chart of means, it's usually a good idea to include error bars. So take this box and you have three different error bars to choose from. You can show a confidence interval for the mean. You can show plus or minus a number of standard errors. Or you can show plus or minus a number of standard deviations. The one that you choose will depend on how you interpret, so make sure that you choose the correct one. And I would suggest having a look at your lecture notes or recommended statistics textbooks or even journal articles in your field to see what is most commonly used. Go ahead and click apply. And when you do, you should see your error bars appear in your graph. Now remember, this is just an image. It's not your data, so don't worry if it doesn't look correct. Go ahead and click OK. And here's our bar chart of means. So the height of the bar represents the mean. And then I've got my 95% confidence interval for the mean. Now let's go back and create our line chart. Hit the reset button. So I'm going to choose line from the left and I want the first line chart. Again, my categorical variable always goes along the x-axis and my scale variable goes along the y-axis. Again, because this is a chart of means, I do want to display error bars, and I'm going to continue with a confidence interval for the mean and click Apply. Go ahead and click OK. And this shows me on the line the mean number of copies sold for each week number, and these bars here give me a 95% confidence interval for my mean.